Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi everyone, and welcome to another lesson from the Cloud Practitioner Express. And in this lesson, we'll be going through the compute family. We're going to see in the coming lessons, compute, it's a big family, and we have lots of services part of the compute family. With this, let's start. In order for us to start, we're going to start with the first service in the compute family, and this is what we call our Amazon EC2. And EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. And please remember this abbreviation. You might be asked about it in the exam. So in the EC2 instances, if we want to understand very simply what's an EC2 instance, if you are in your data center, probably you have heard about something called a virtual machine or a virtual server. And that's exactly what is an EC2. So EC2 instances, are virtual servers on AWS cloud. And in order for us to go through the details of the EC2 instances and the characteristics of EC2 instances, we're going to see EC2 instances are very secure and we're going to spend many lessons talking on how do I secure my EC2 instances. And then these EC2 instances are resizable so I can change the size, I can change the resources of these EC2 instances according to my usage and my requirements. And then number two, I can have multiple operating systems on these EC2 instances. So I can have Linux with multiple flavors of Linux, I can have Windows, and also I can have a Mac operating system or an EC2 with a Mac operating system. And then I choose the EC2 instance that I want. I choose the operating system. I choose the parameters. And then I click on launch instance. So launch instance, it's going to, my server is going to boot in a few minutes. And then I can connect and I can install the application I want on this server. And finally, and that's the beauty of the cloud, this is a pure consumption based model. So I can pay, I can pay as per my consumption. Now, next, let's see what are the EC2 instance types, because we're going to see my application might have different requirements. And for every application, you might have a different or you might deploy a different EC2 instance type. This is the link. If you want to click on this link, I'll be uh, putting this link in the video description. And then let's go and explore this link ourselves. So now let's explore what are the different EC2 instance types. So the first type, it's called general purpose. And as you can see from the description, general purpose will provide a balance between the compute and the memory. So this is a balanced instance between the compute and memory. But then what if, if I have an application and this application requires more compute. Then in this case, I go to the second family called compute optimized. And as you can see, compute optimized are ideal for compute bound applications, which means applications that they require high performance processors. So it's compute. So it means that I have more processing. And this is very suitable for something like batch processing which is the famous example that you can have in the exam, media transcoding, high performance web servers as well. And then maybe you have another type of application like a database server, for example, and this application needs more memory. So in this case, you go and choose from the memory optimized family. So memory optimized are instances designed to deliver fast performance for workloads that process large data sets in memory. And of course, an example is a database instance. And then accelerated computing. What if you need GPUs in your EC2 instances because you have graphics, for example, or you have machine learning processing. So in this case, you might go for accelerated computing. So accelerated computing, 
they use hardware accelerators or GPU. And then another one called storage optimized. And storage optimized, these are the instances that they are providing the highest storage IOPS. If you need or if your application requires a very high storage IOPS, then you go to a storage optimized and then you choose an instance from this storage optimized family. And the last one, it's HPC optimized. And I believe from the name you can understand these ones are purpose built for applications that they are HPC. And very simply, this summarizes the different instance types that we have. So in the exam, you very simply need to understand the question, understand the use case, and accordingly, you can choose from one of these instance types. With this, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next lesson.